driving with the convoy starting in Calgary. Is that right? Give me a detail of what you're doing and when you're starting and what your route is going to be. So on Sunday night, there will be two different um, truck convoys coming to Calgary from different directions. And they will meet in Calgary to stay overnight. And on Monday, they will go towards um, Regina. So on Sunday, I will be in Calgary. I will drive around to capture footage. And um, on Monday, I will drive with them to Regina and then all the way down to Ottawa, which will take a week. And it will cross um, across a lot of um, towns, cities, and merge with other convoys. It's very exciting. I will. What I will do is I'm charging my batteries right now, my camera, and um, I will bring the other side of the story, basically interview the truckers, um, publish some Twitter reports, YouTube videos to give updates on the convoy, um, get some drone footage of the of the tr trucks. Basically, I will try to bring Canada a world class um, videography of the event. Well, I believe that you will. You are our chief videographer. You've got great talent uh, editing and also using the drone. I think there'd be some wonderful footage of the convoy. That That's just going to look gorgeous. I mean, Canada is truly a wonderful, I mean, I know that you came to, you were born in Canada, you were raised in Turkey, you mm -hmm. came back to Canada. So you're still sort of exploring the country. And I think that there's no finer way to get to know this land than to drive across it. And to drive with such a good group of people will be a wonderful experience for you. And I know you're going to share that with us. I think you're going to make a lot of friends on the trip. You're going to meet friends who come out to meet the trucks. I bet you're going to see people at truck stops with signs cheering them along. And Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. And uh, my experience has been like that in other um, protests or events or um, when I went to other places to bring the other side of the story where I met with other um, fans. Um, all across the country, I have met with beautiful, wonderful people that I didn't even know existed. I didn't even know that such beautiful people existed. Um, they were very kind, very compassionate. And it's very interesting because um, I met with so many different um different in ideology, different in ethnicity, different in so many ways, religion, but they all welcomed me and um, such solar solidarity, such common ground is um, really valuable. Well, I look forward to your report. So um, I know that you, you mentioned you have a small car, but you're going to rent a more serious vehicle. I mean, if you're going across the country, you don't want to have a teeny tiny uh, tin can. So we're going to rent a, a more serious vehicle for you, especially given that it's a winter time. Um, you're going to stay in motels along the way. Yes. Obviously, you got to stop for food along the way. So we mentioned the crowd fund. That's just for the truckers. So we don't get that big truck convoy money. That's for the truckers. But we are going to crowd fund for your journey, our own crowd fund. So we got a, we're going to rent a car for you. I think we should get something with maybe four wheel drive. Cause if there's a, if there's a snowfall, if there's a blizzard, you, you want to have a serious car for the highways. Absolutely. Especially, I mean, you're still a fairly young driver, um, mm -hmm. motels along the way. There's no fancy accommodations, mm -hmm. but staying in, in, and you really, you're just going to use it to edit your video and sleep, obviously yes. food and gas along the way. And, um, so about a week there, and then you're going to come back probably about maybe almost two weeks in total. What do you think the total cost is going to be? Just sketching on the back of a napkin, I'm guessing that's $3,500 to $4,000 in out-of-pocket costs. Does that sound about right? Well, actually, it will probably be more given our operational costs. We have um, writers in the background. We have video editors in the background, social media people, and um these people are not doing that for free. They, they also need to get paid. So when you add all these costs up, it's going to go a little higher. But at the end of the day, we will bring the best quality um, coverage that no other media will be able to bring, despite their millions of um, dollars from Justin Trudeau. Well, I agree with you on that. I'd, I'd encourage people who want to get Mocha on the road to go to convoyreports.com. So at convoyreports.com, that's where you're going to post all your videos from the journey. 
And that's where people can go and get updated on where you are. And if they like your work as, as much as I'm sure they will, they can chip in 50 bucks or 100 bucks. Chip in to fill up the gas tank. You know, gas is pretty expensive these days. Chip in to buy mm-hmm. mocha lunch or dinner. We'd appreciate the help. That's convoyreports.com. I think you're going to do some beautiful journalism and just brainstorming here for a bit. Besides the daily updates, maybe maybe there's a little documentary here. Like if you were following this story every day for a week, that's quite a, and to watch the crowds grow and the excitement of coming to Ottawa and what happens to Ottawa, maybe there's a little movie, like maybe a half hour or 45 minute documentary that comes out the other side in addition to the little daily updates. The reason I say that, Mocha, is it's important that we document this journey because I'm sure it won't be long before Justin Trudeau condemns these truckers as racists or misogynists or whatever names he calls. They're going to try and demonize these truckers if they haven't already. Your mission is to tell the other side of the story, to tell the trucker's side of the story, to be honest and to push back against the lies. I think a documentary may be the best way to do that long term. Absolutely. That could only be done after I come back to Calgary to put together all the footage and um, all the, yeah, and, um, create a script and voiceover. If anyone has watched our vaccine clinic expose video, uh, I'm sure we can leave a link in the description. Um, they could see what we are capable of creating when it comes to documentaries. And we, I will make sure to bring uh, a high quality, compelling, uh, wonderful documentary for the other side of the story. All right, well, there you heard from our chief videographer himself. There's his promise. If you chip into convoyreports.com, not only are you gonna get updates every day, but when he comes back to Calgary, he's gonna put it together into a compelling documentary. I believe you'll do that, Mocha. Thanks very much for joining us today, my friend. Safe journeys out there. Let's talk to make sure you get a a good vehicle. I wanna make sure you got something that's gonna do well on those highways if it's snowing. And you're in for a heck of a journey. I'm sort of jealous, to be honest because that's going to be a wonderful journey that you're going to uh, look back on fondly for many years to come. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, and thank you to our supporters. Right on. There you have it. Mocha Bazir again, chief videographer of Rebel News. What a good egg. He's up for any adventures you can see, and I think he's going to do a great job of it. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.